Greetings and welcome back to Microtown. I'm Catherine of Sky, and I'm delighted to say that many, many things have changed. The dev has been uploading updates like crazy. You can check them all on the main menu where they are listed by patch number. Oh, oh, look at this. Hey, the tree planting nurseries. They have a little like thing of soil before they, they didn't have that. And they have a little tree growing there. And also the foresters are now able to plant more than one tree per tile. So they should look more like the natural trees that we see with the kind of the very thick forests so one thing i first like to go over is this menu on the right which to be perfectly honest i hadn't actually looked at i mean i saw one or two things but i'm like huh uh what is this but I've, I've never actually gone through it so before starting the video today i was like oh wow these are cool tools so we have first of all <laughs> We have a secret button. This button is a visual placeholder so that the HUD can be presented in a more complete state. What future feature could that possibly hold? Hmm. Anyway, um, to answer, there's been many, many questions. The developer has gotten many suggestions, one of which is the permanent uh, speed up button thing, uh, another of which is zoom. And um, he is considering all of these things. Hop on the Discord if you want to make your thoughts known. Um, but yeah, first of all, let's do this stuff here. We have this one, which is an item report. This tells us how much stuff we have in our world here. Oh my, there could be corpses around. Oh dear. Um, but <laughs> this is a nice little thing. It gives us a little bit of more information than what we have up here. This is very kind of a, um, you know, sort of a gross uh, numbers over here, where these are the specifics. That's quite nice. And then the next item we have here is professional fashion distribution now this is something i'm sure that you might have been wondering if you could say oh i want a minimum of say seven carriers instead of five these are the people who deliver pl from place to place all of the items and then we can have builders maximum of five i don't know if i want a maximum of five maybe yeah maybe five i don't really want people just waiting around for stuff so that's fine okay good good uh, maybe even 10 carriers, I'm thinking. And that prevents too many people from being uh, working to be actual workers in the game. All right, next item we have is item distribution. This is basically a priority list for where the raw materials go. So we have things like logs. They're going to go to sawmill and woodcutter uh, equally. Wait, why does a sawmill need? Okay, they need it. Woodcutter. I'm not quite sure. Saw horses. Firewood. Ah. I didn't know firewood was a thing. Right. Okay. Well, we'll get there. Anyway, and then coal maker here. It makes coal from logs in nearby coal kilns. I wonder if that's in the game. I don't remember seeing that. Um, but maybe stuff has been ha added since I last played, which was like two days ago. Anyway, um, we have coal to uh sent to the smeltery uh the smithy brickworks and glassblower are slightly lower priorities these are the default priorities but you can change these by upping or lowering the numbers hemp uh pulp mill or carding mill i kind of agree with this that the pulp mill for making books as research points should have much less priority than the carding mill so that's just fine i wonder if these have particular numbers distribution proportion Okay, so this is actually a distribution proportion, not just a priority thing. So out of six things of hemp, four are going to go to the carding mill and two to the pulp mill. I love this. This is great. This is much better than just a simple priority system that a lot of games have of like, hey, this building is most important. It gets all of them. Nice. No, this is, I like this. This is great. That's pretty darn awesome. Okay, so then the last thing is the knowledge book, which we have and which we can unlock all kinds of other things with. I don't remember where we got last time. I think we were, ah, uh, yes, we have the pigs and we were getting hams happening and things and stuff. Do we need, I think we need another pig herder because this one just seems to do sort of one thing all the time. I don't know. I think what we do need here, we might need a road going up here. Uh, yeah, let's do that first. Uh, and there's new roads coming. There might be like stone roads later. 
There's all kinds of fun stuff in the works. I, I'm, I'm watching the Discord very, very specifically. And, and to be very specific, this is the um, Microtown Discord I'm talking about, not uh, my own Discord. Well, I am paying attention there as well. But anyway, you get the idea here. So, okay, ranch. Let's get our another ranch over here. And we can have the this person helping out with the piggery. And let's see how that works here. I think there is actually a word that we were looking for last time that were specific auxiliaries. Let's see, this is a... No, I don't see it. It was like, I forget what the names are. Someone was calling it hands on, hands off. And somebody said also that certain ones have several stages of production where it might require a worker to actually come in the intermediate periods of production. So we'll kind of observe this as we go along in the game. That could be fun to look at. All right, so what do we have here? We have a few different things here. We've got, oh, how does this work? Oh, that's nice. Oh, you no longer have to press shift. These are just like click buttons, like on and off. That's great. I like this. This is nice. Okay, great. Okay, so now person should work there. Hello, new person, yeah helping out oh good you're working over there good and i want to see what happens when they kind of grow all the pigs <laughs> such a weird thing is growing all the pigs from the ground it's like pigs grow on bushes or something <laughs> so okay auxiliary yes that's how do they does this one call yeah just auxiliary yes maybe we don't have any others okay hams are happening hams are going to the granary perfect Anyway, so we were getting this forest cleared so that we could possibly get more bookmaking. I don't actually know if we need more bookmaking. That might not be a thing. Now, do these things, they don't seem to have any uh, effects of like market distribution. Because I, I think that people or the delivery people have to deliver food and stuff from the granaries themselves. Okay, so are these just pigs growing? Yeah, growing on, on bushes. <laughs> They're growing on bushes, yes. Do not deny them. They're bush growing pigs. It's fine. Okay, let's just add a few more pens here so that the butchers can have some pigs to deal with. Okay, there we go. We've got some pigs. There we go. Take them off to the butchery places. I think, yeah, we need to figure out the pig balance because it is completely off. Anyway, we have a ton of food, so we can go ahead and choose another industry to get started in. And let's see, we could go bread baking. Oh, we got farm potatoes. Let's, we got some more research points. Excellent. Um, what should we do now? I want to do something kind of fun. Maybe we should do brewing. Brewing is a fun thing because that requires us to have new buildings in the town serving stuff to people. So let's see what we can do about this. We have new town buildings. Where are they? We have the tavern, yay. All right, so the brewery makes beer using barley and water at nearby brewing vats. Now, that's the production building. So we're gonna need a farm producing barley nearby, and then the tavern is gonna serve it to everybody. Yes, so we'll have one tavern here, um, maybe one here. I think we said that we wanted one across from the town hall. <laughs> now these taverns do serve a specific amount of people and we're gonna check that maximum once they're finished building. I don't think it shows yet. Oh, no, it does show it actually. It says serves population of 136 and that's as many as we have no it doesn't show the max amount okay because they're not built yet uh what we want to do with this though i think we want to have a let me look oh i don't know if it's stored in a warehouse or if it's stored anywhere actually glass tools and clothing granary carrots tomatoes bread and ham okay so what we need is several breweries to serve the beer to the taverns uh, so we'll get these things going. And this has brewing vats. So this is definitely an industrial process here. I think I want to... Did I turn off these lumberjacks? I did. Good. Uh, all right. That's just fine. Let's just move this thing up here. That's fine. And build another. 
Lumberjack's hut may be in the middle, so we can take care of this one and this one without too much construction, deconstruction, that kind of thing. Hello. Hi, autosave. How are you doing? I love autosaves. They make us not lose our progress, and that is very valuable indeed. All right, shove this right over here. Also, priority system for buildings is coming. Also, sort of cancel construction and priority on certain things. I think that's going to be a great change. Um, so that's hopefully coming within the next few days to the game. Uh, I'll tell you what, the, the dev Rudy is amazing, and he is working on all the things and all the stuffs. So it's pretty great. Oh, wait, is this... No, it's another round tree. I, I need to ask if we can get the like spruce trees, the little Christmas trees in here because I would love to see them. Oh, would be nice. Oh, hello forest is almost gone. This is great. Okay, so while that one is going, going, gone, I think we can get three woodcutters here to just chop all of these trees down. How are we doing for peeps? Okay, we have, uh, that's the wrong thing. Here we go. 69 idling 66 idling so we have plenty of people we don't need to build more in houses here we just need to get these trees chopped down uh, asap okay come on folks you can keep delivering stuff deliver it to the sawmills are we just having too many planks is that what's going on 41 there and 53 there okay so we might have a little bit too many but hopefully they're going to take these logs and shove them down there into making uh, more more planks and stuff because I really just want to use the stuff we have I think we'll leave this one here for a bit because we can move this thing all the way down well down there it's not it's not all the way is it <laughs> it's it's close ish anyway but we'll get rid of these because I, I'm envisioning having our farms up here maybe I should already plant one let's plant a farm Okay, so this might be a good industrial spot for us because we have the sand here and clay right there. We have the rock. Maybe we could have a road. Let's make this road real quick. I know that that, that place... Oh, no, it's not in the middle of the road. I thought it was. <laughs> oh, that's quite funny. That's very, very funny. Okay, that's fine. Um, we might actually move this or put a field here or something. Let's get our road here. I, d I now decided to put the farms on this side, so that wasn't exactly ideal, but these people can clear away the trees and we can get that finished, which is going to be very nice. And then we can plant a farm out here somewhere. Let's go ahead and do that. So we're going to need a proper farm to grow the barley. So I'm going to put this uh, one away from the road. Like this, maybe? Yeah, yeah, that's good. Very good, very good. All right, you move your catchment area here. Excellent, excellent. Good, good. Uh, all right. And now, how are we going to do this? So we want the things to produce barley. Want a couple of farms maybe doing this. Let's see, market squared granary. I'm looking for if we can store this barley or not. I don't think so. All right, we can't, we can't at the moment, but that's okay. That is not a problem. So we can copy this and have, let's see, how many is 15 fields of barley? That's hemp. Here's our barley. So we'll have one, so we'll count this as one. Or we could put the well there. Let's just do that. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and treating. <laughs> treating. No, you're in the way. It's okay, though. Uh, we're going to put the next farm here. And we're going to have both of these only collect barley. Ah, these are... Okay, so that's just sort of a non-state. Uh, but we are having the green as in do this state. That's four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Perfect. And get our road. Boom. So this is gonna be great. I feel the greatness happening. It's starting to 
build up in excitement. Look at all of these people. They're so great. Oh, it's so fun to watch them walk up and down the roads. How is this? Oh, more hams. Hey. Hey, we're having ham for dinner. I know there's a person in there in the Discord called Bacon Bacon something, and um, they're like, hey, does the game have bacon? I'm like, they might. <laughs> they might. Uh, somehow this ham could be converted into... You could just imagine, instead of like one giant ham standing there, could be like several bacon strips. That could be a mod. I don't know if the game is, is supporting mods or if that's planned, but that could be a thing. Anyway, a very silly thing. <laughs> But it's a thing nonetheless, right? <laughs> okay, let's get our breweries happening. Um, now, the question is, where do we keep... Where do we create the bottleneck? Should we do them halfway down? That's a thing that could be happening. Uh, we could do them here. I think we need several of these for sure. Um, let's find out how many people work here. Okay, it's got one person. And then we have a brewing vat, which, again, it doesn't it doesn't tell us. Somebody said there's a tooltip that actually says whether it's a, a hands-on utility auxiliary or a hands-off kind of thing. But I do know that the brewing vats are hands-off. You just chuck the materials in, let it cook itself for a bit, and then uh, and then you're done. And then you have beer. So let's have a couple of these, two and three. And then we'll get more buildings to three. One, two, and three. And I probably should put a road somewhere. Um, roads are good. Roads are pretty good. I like them. There we go. So we can take this that way. And we were looking for, I think it was this square that we need a farm on. This is, I like the interface here. I have to say it's really useful. It's really clean and it's really... Um, it's just good. It's just really good. Uh, the interface is really good. I like it a lot. It seems very easy to find everything. The one thing I guess I may have a, um, a criticism for maybe is like, these buildings look the same. <laughs> like, they look exactly the same. So this is Arborist, this is Forester, or Lumberjack. Oh no, see I don't even know which one is which, but I assume that there's going to be a little bit of differentiation later. Though the buildings are kind of like very samey. I'm glad that they do have different colored roofs, that, that does help quite a bit. Uh, and you can kind of identify different areas of your town and stuff. Uh, okay, look at this, we have brewing operations here. Okay, very few of these uh, logs left. Good, good, good. Okay, and now there's knocking at us. They're like, no, we cannot continue. So we're going to deconstruct this building. And then we're going to get water. So I don't think we have any water wells. Oh, no, we do have water wells. Yes. See, there, there are people like, hey, KOS, like I had to walk all the way from paper production. Why? <laughs> They're not happy with us. Okay, let's get a couple of farmers here. Um, Have three on each. Wait, hello. Uh, excuse me? What? Hello? That was weird. Okay. Have three farmers in each of these barley plots so that they can keep on producing stuff. Um, this one... Did I mess up the thingy-majingy? One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I think... I might was supposed to have one here. The fields are a bit messed up. I think they're a bit messed up. I think there's something very wrong here. Let's take off. No, it seems like they could be in a line here, but they're not for some reason. Anyway, let's just build some more fields kind of rounding off this area. Yeah, this one will take all of those. Anyway, we could build another farm close by if we need it for our barley. Look at this. Brewing is already happening. So process takes 50. Okay, here we go. A worker operates the building at this step. This step normally takes two seconds. The duration is affected by worker productivity currently at 110%. I like this. Okay, so this second piece, this production is unattended at this step and it takes 15 seconds. Cool. 
So that means technically that they could definitely use at least three of these things. Um, the question is, how fast are we getting the barley? And I don't know that ratio at the moment, but we'll get there. Okay, good, good, good. Now, another question is, can we... Wait, where's our well? Did it not place properly? Okay, let's go and put it, put it again. Or maybe, I, I don't know, maybe I didn't click it properly. Who knows? Uh, at this point, I feel so relaxed in this game. It's like, we can just take our time with building anything because we have enough food. There's tons and tons of food. Let's look at happiness real quick. We have four of eight from the tavern. The taverns can serve a population of 64 only of 136. So we need lots and lots of local taverns. Um, apparently that is important to these folks. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's build uh, a road going this way and basically a tavern on every corner, it seems like, which is just fine. I don't know if it matters where they are. Like, could you put them all in the same spot? I have no idea. Why can't that go there? Oh, <gasps> no. They have to be apart from each other. Oh dear, wow, okay. So we'll just, we'll place them at various spots. I think the, the exclusion zone is far too big though for these, to be honest. I think it's way, way, way big. Um, but that's just my opinion on this. Because I would think that, you know, this is quite a small town, this is not big. But yet we still have to have four of these taverns unless it's we're just being encouraged to have smaller city centers and move population elsewhere that could be a thing as well i'm not quite sure but i want to make sure that we have efficiency going on here everything getting where it needs to go so how are these working out these are doing well are we we have water and we have barley and we have beer all right they're having a good time, that's for sure. <laughs> that's for sure. Yay. Okay. I love to see the little smoke coming out from these uh, stacks here. It's quite nice. Quite, quite nice. Oh my god. I don't know why I love this game, but man, I do. I really do. It's so precious and lovely. In so many ways, it reminds me of, um, well, halfway like Anno, halfway like little computer people <laughs> i love little computer people um yeah i don't know if anyone played that game i i can't find anyone who played that game on the commodore 64 little computer people i had my person was called greg and basically all it was was it showed a house it was like a dollhouse and you could he would do whatever he wanted to do and you could you could ask him to play the piano and sometimes he wouldn't sometimes he wouldn't he was very ornery and it had a little dog as well and um yeah that was a cool game. I, I don't know why, but this game sort of reminds me of that. All right, how's our, oh, wow. Hello, happiness, yay. All right, we got it going. So we're, so, why? Okay, serving a population of 64. So we've doubled that with the extra taverns, even though they're not made. That's really strange. Oh, we have no wood cutting, that's why. All right, so let's get some wood coating going on here. I definitely want to selectively harvest these trees. Uh, we might need some wood cutting. Also, um, it's been brought to um, the attention of the developer that when you deconstruct buildings, if you are unlucky enough to have no planks, like right now we have no planks and that's bad. Um, you don't get materials back from any of your um, things. So it's been suggested that, well, maybe you don't need planks to build a lumber mill and you don't need stone to build a stone quarry, that kind of a thing. Um, so anyway, that that's a suggestion that has been made. Uh, because I, th I think that is definitely kind of punishing. Like if you really run out of planks, then you, there's nothing you can do. <laughs> I don't think you can buy from another town. I don't even know if that's in the game or not. So anyway. Aw, little trees. But I need to, I need to, we, we need to see more of these mixed trees. We want mixed trees in our plots over here. Okay, so this one, this can also be slightly moved to get these trees harvested. Yes, good, good. Okay, and we'll take three people to do all that. Okay, so these, 
not all of these houses are working and I don't know why. Let's see, barley times two, water times two. It could be that they're all running around to different ones of these things. Okay, this has barley and water. Barley and water. Okay, so... What I don't know is that, you know, why are they... Why are they not using more of these things? At a very minimum, three of these smoke stacks should be going at all times. If not, six. So... That's kind of a funky thing. We might only be able to get two per brewery. And I don't know if I'm doing them a disservice by saying, hey, you over there, go all the way to there. Maybe it's too far or something, but it does seem like this is way overkill for these amount of breweries. I could add just a couple more brew shacks on this side. That could be a thing as well um, to increase production without you know, increasing these vats. Uh, there was a bug where there was like too much input and output production with farming. That's why I was talking about discrete farms in the initial episodes, but that bug has been fixed. So that's something we can now have also is have mixed farms if we should desire to do so. So that's definitely a thought. Um, all right, we have this stuff. We've got these people delivering. Yeah, this puzzles me. This really puzzles me because surely it doesn't take 15 seconds. They should have the ability to do two of these brew houses, I think. Because this takes two seconds. And this is 15. So within 15 seconds, they can run around, get another two seconds thing done. Yeah, there we go. Okay, we're watching it now. I wish I had seen which guy it was that came here. I'm wondering if they're waiting from water for water to be delivered or something. Uh, it looks like they have one water. They have two water. These people have three. Okay, we don't need more water yet. Wow, they're actually getting water from the paper zone. Now this is this is an interesting conundrum because I think I would really like to limit. Oh, geez, they haven't even finished the well yet. No wonder they're getting water from down here. But I wonder if that could be a thing like limit where each building can get their water from. Like say, nope, you're only gonna get from here. I don't want people to traipse across, across the map to give you water. That's not a thing. Okay, so foregoing. Hmm, <laughs> there's much humming going on now. <laughs> okay, at least we're getting rid of some of these forests here. Uh, I think I'm gonna turn on regular wood cutting. Looks like this area, well, we need to get this one done. No. We're at a plank thing. Okay, I'm gonna turn on this lumberjack fully and they can just chop to their heart's content and then, uh, so, cause we need to get this stuff made and done. That is for sure. Okay, four, four out of nine. It can't be the water because all of these, every time we look, they all have water. Nobody is wanting for water at all. And here we have another well. Oh, wow, it takes time to produce water. Look at that. Okay. So maybe we do need um, another well or two to continue to have this production at a decent rate. Let's see, how long does it take? Take six seconds. So one of these can supply water for two of those-ish and a little bit, I guess. Because these take... No, they take more than that. They take... 17 seconds each so one well can almost supply uh three so we'd need three wells just for this grouping of stuff if <laughs> if these worked at full uh full thing full throttle where is the throttling no actually throttling is usually throttling down but it could be up as well okay how are we doing on other stuff are we are we doing well Okay, so now we got our breweries up. Let's see, we have um, 10 from Tavern. We're supplying, so we're serving 128 of 136. So it's clear that some of these uh, taverns don't yet have happiness going on. They need more beer to be delivered. 
So I'm wondering if we need more, what is consumption? Does it tell us how fast houses are consuming beer? We're just kind of clicking. I thought at some point it did, but maybe I'm mistaken. Maybe it only did showed clothes or some other resource that I am missing here. But it is clear we need more brew houses. Okay, so let's build those real quick right now and see. One, oops, shift click, boom and boom. And then I want to get some, we need water as well. Let's get road first, boom, boom, and boom. And then water, water, water. Cause I think we definitely need a ton of water for this process. One, oh, no, no. Okay, canceled my thingy. There we go. Okay, now we have a few more planks. We can actually look and see. We have 38, 39 in stock. So that's plenty. And I think we have enough people delivering them. Let's find out. Okay, 56 are delivering items. That sounds perfect. We can actually start making more houses. Uh, but I do want to solve this beer issue first. This is very strange to me that very few of these brew houses have people here. How are we doing on barley? We've got two at that farm, three here. We could add farms on this side as well. Oops, what is this doing out here? Huh. Okay, let's just click on it and delete. It's a crop field of some kind. All right, there we go. We're building stuff now. All right, we have things happening. We've got water. We're going to run out of barley, I think, soon. Maybe. Maybe. I don't know. Maybe we're... We're going to be just fine. There are lots of uh, crop fields that are ready to be harvested here. So let's see. Does it tell us? This is 120 seconds. Okay. This is 10 seconds, 120 and also 10. So that's 140 seconds. That's a long time. That's really a long time. That's over two minutes for each uh, crop to, to grow. Jeez. Okay, well, looks like more of these little brewing vats are lighting up, which is nice. I think we definitely need more water things, but it's funny, though, because it's like we have insufficient amounts of water things, and yet it's piled up with water. So I'm wondering if there's some kind of disconnect with the workers or something like that. It's really the numbers there don't make sense. <laughs> like, no, they do not make sense. Oh, no. Um, but... It could be travel time, you know, from carrying this to that to the other thing as well. Oh, Tavern Brawl. I got achievement. Nice. Yeah, the game has like three achievements right now. It's very funny, but I've managed to get two of them. So that's good. All right, let's delete this. And then here we can... I guess we're still relying on those logs. Let's just go down to one woodcutter there is fine. Looks like hams are in full production. That's fine. We're of 16 of 18 from the taverns this is great we're warranting a production of 120 percent right now okay so people are happy when you give them beer <laughs> i don't know if that's a surprise or not probably not probably not okay let's just put this here uh, get a road out there that way okay looking really good well, since this is, um, yeah, this seems like a good stopping place for our episode today. Thank you so very much uh, for joining me. Take care of yourselves and each other, and I'll see you next time.